Welcome to Parcha TV. Um, I am Ronnie Music. Um, today, on this uh, documentary we're showing you today, um, we are going to be taking you back to Ginger. However, this time around, we're not going to the source of the Nile uh, in Ginger. We're going to another location called Itanda Falls. Itanda Falls is the um, very fast falls uh, where the uh, River Nile um, sort of uh, on this journey to the Mediterranean Sea. Um, it, there's hundreds and hundreds of miles from um, uh, River Nile, that's the source of the Nile, all the way to the Mediterranean. However, this place called the Tanda Falls is the very fast falls that the river goes through. Um, we did make our way to Tanda Falls, although it was with a challenge in terms of the roads and the dust and everything else and, and the traffic, but we made our way to Tanda Falls. Um, falls is the first and waterfall uh, from River Nile. So right, what's going on? Last time around, we took you down to um, River Nile. The source of the Nile. Today we're going to the first waterfalls of uh, River Nile towards the Mediterranean, right behind me, right there. That is the river. And uh, we're going to be going down. The it's raining. We're going to be going down there very shortly. It should be amazing. Bandanga, Uganda is beautiful. People come out, visit your country. Yeah. You know, other people have visited, you know, Europeans, Americans, you name it, Japanese, Chinese, Indians, but, oh yeah, they are, they are Ugandan Indians, but you know, you know, just Ugandans in Uganda, come on out, visit your country. It's a beautiful place. Let me show you where we're going. That's right, as you can see, those are the falls, that's the Itanda Falls, you can see the water flowing in beauty, in elegance, in absolutely amazing. Look at that. That is the Tanda Falls, the very first falls from the river now. The water is flowing, um, you know, it's flowing at a certain type of speed. I have been informed by some sources, by the guide there, that there is fish in that water flowing all the way down through the, the valleys and you know, going through different types of, of, of rocks and stuff like that. Look at that, that is beautiful, absolutely amazing. Um, I've been told, I've, as you can see right there coming up now, is the, what it's called the hat. This is where the, the spiritual dwelling place of the rivers are. You want to know where the spiritual dwelling places are? That's the spiritual dwelling place of the river, according to the guide. And you want to know anything about the river and the spirits and what the river does? You come there and you'll be spoken to by somebody regarding the spiritual dwelling place of the river. Um, as we navigate our way through to another section of the river that has absolutely beautiful sightings, um, we walk through this um, uh, rainforest. It's green, it's green everywhere. There's beautiful sunshine, but there's a lot of green. That's why, you, that's why Uganda and River Nile has been named the Pearl of Africa. Um, one thing we want to do at Parchat TV, we want to one day do the whole river now that's from the source um of um uh, i'll say uh, i'll say the source of river now all the way to the mediterranean we would like to cover this and bring you our perspective from an african man's on african programs point of view From the source, that's right, the source in Uganda, River Nile. We're walking down. So down. That. Excuse the picture. Yeah. Walking down. Yeah. Here we go. Sorry. Walking down. Let's see if we can see a cameraman. There's a cameraman right there. He's doing his thing. Yeah. 
river now like you've never seen it before. For those that want to get rid of Uganda. Um, what you see right there is what you call specialist divers. Um, these young men approach us and say, you know what, we can swim across this river without a problem. And we looked and we're like, are you being serious? And they said, we can swim across this river without a problem. They dared us to do it, and we're like, no way we're not going to do it. But they said, okay, you watch us do it. So what you see right there, these young men have actually swam across this what you call extremely dangerous, dangerous um, river falls. And they've, you know, it's nothing to them. They do it all the time. Um, although they asked me to do it, I said, you know what, you, you do it, um, I'll just um, record you and have the experience of seeing you um, swim across this beautiful, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful um, river with its beautiful sights and the nature, as, as you see nature, nature, that word, nature, moving, nature, show me this absolute beauty. This is up close and personal. The river now at 18 degrees in Ginger. Um, basically what the guide is saying is uh, where that put this particular location is what he called in Tanda, in Tanda store or in Tanda stop. Um, the river now comes and literally turns around from here. The water turns around from here and then goes and makes its way towards the Mediterranean. Um, it's saying that that this part is also known as the graveyard of uh, River Nile. This is also known as the graveyard of River Nile, um, where anyone that dies um, at the very part, first pass of the falls or, any, or anything that happens. So they're saying that if you, you maybe end up in the water and you die, eventually your body will end up in this corner. And they're saying that in 2020, there were six people that died and uh, they were eventually swept to this part of the river. This part of the river is where the water turns around and then goes towards um, the Mediterranean. Uh, and they're saying that this year, there's been one case of a person who's fallen into the river and this is where they've ended up. And they're saying that um, they've got a team that check um, this particular section of the river every single day to see if there's anything any bodies of um, of, of people of animals you name it. And they're saying this is the section where the river comes and it turns around and it goes or continues to this journey, very very long journey towards the Mediterranean. This is our tradition for centuries. Wow, amazing. Oh, wow. 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 And we've been here, it's been amazing. We're going to show people, Ugandans, come out and see your country. You people, you're so. You, you can actually enjoy Uganda in Uganda. You don't have to go out, you know, you can stay where you are. 
Enjoy your Ghana. Enjoy yourself. It's been amazing. We cannot wait to keep showing you all these beautiful places in Uganda. And it's cheap, 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 cheap. We pay 5,000 shillings each, uh, which is about maybe uh, maybe two dollars, maybe maybe a dollar, maybe a couple of dollars, pounds, a pound if you're into pounds or whatever, euros, a couple of euros. But yeah, it's quite cheap, next to nothing. We've got two guys there to help you out. We've got guys swimming in the water. We've got the water coming out. This little space here, spot here, is known as the Tanara. The water comes all the way from the Nile, gashing down, comes here, it does a U-turn, and it goes all the way down that way into the Mediterranean. We supply the world with fresh water. Imagine that. It comes from right here in Uganda. Imagine that. We supply the world. People didn't know that. It goes to the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean, the water goes into the Pacific, into the Indian Ocean all the oceans they all meet in the Mediterranean and the water is warm fresh there's fish in there people fishing amazing we can't wait to show you more about oh, beautiful oh, country wow. big to go down that fall if you're water rafting whatever you're doing you're not allowed to this it's almost a guaranteed death honestly you want to die that's what the two were saying but all this is going to be coming at you on Powertrack TV watch this space yes we are promoting uganda we want people out we want people out there to know all about uganda to know the good places in uganda we've just we've just like given you snippets just snippets yeah so we are going to give you more bits more bits more bits people out there support partra tv yeah we want to show the good side of uganda yeah not many people out there you know, you get, you get so much people on social media saying all kinds of stuff, but we want to get away from that and we want to give you the good stuff, the good side, the good things that Uganda has. People, let's celebrate our country, let's celebrate our Africa, let's celebrate our world and let everyone else know that there is so much for Uganda to give.